All right, we're screencasting, y'all. Um, we're taking a look at this uh, hot mess of a DLR right now. Week five, day 25, pardon me, day four. The earlier pies in history are made mostly of meat. What should it be? What should that be? Shouldn't be, we're not comparing, right? Desiree? No, we're, we're, we're going to do superlative. We need a superlative ending there. Right now, we got a comparative ending on, on early. on early. What should it be? Uh, why? No. No, it's just yes. early. What, early, yes. Who said that? Okay. Yes, that's superlative. E-A-R-L-I-E-S-T. Yeah, the earliest pies in history are made mostly of meat. We got a spelling error in here. We got a spelling in here. Give me the spelling. Now there's one more thing. Read and listen. Read and listen. You ready for this, Dubik? Counting on you to find this. You ready? The earliest pies in history are made mostly of meat. It's history, right? So it should be what? Bobby, Bobby Young, everybody, were made the earliest pies in history were made mostly of meat. There it is. That's three corrections there. One, a one E and a two E and a three. Are you ready for this? Today, people eat pie mainly for dessert, but pie used to be eaten all day long. Right? How's that sentence sound? Does that sound like a pretty grammatically correct sentence already? I think not. So what's the first thing you're going to attack there, Coupe de Ville? First thing I'm going to attack there is... What do we need before that conjunction? We need a comma. Yes. Oops. Right? Okay. Today, people eat pie mainly for dessert, right? But, but, pie used to be eaten all day long. Jimmy Jams. Eaten. Let's see, but pie used to be eaten all day long. Hmm, I don't see anything else, do you? Today, comma, people, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, today people eat pie mainly for dessert. What am I saying? What, go, go. That eat after people should eat. No, because it is today. Today, oh. people eat pie mainly for dessert. But pie used to be. Uh oh, maybe it should. What are you thinking, Bobby? Go. In in the um does since there be only one s? No. no. I was thinking that too, but it's D-E-S-S-E-R-T, -S -S -E right? Dessert. That would be desert. Right. That's if it was one S, it'd be desert. But pie used to be eaten all day long. You know, I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. Two corrections. Two corrections there. Boink, boink. All right, let me take it a step further. Why did we put a comma before the conjunction but? Let me ask you this. Ready? Pie used to be eaten all day long. Is that a complete sentence? Yes. Sir. Yes. You, Mr. Mario Kart, get up and tell me why. A subject, and a subject and a what? Okay, show me what they are. Go, get up and do it for me. Where's the subject? Where's the predicate? You got this. Pie is the subject, right? What about pie? There it is. Pie is what the sentence is about, right? What about it? Well, it used to be eaten all day long. Because that is a complete sentence, and you threw a conjunction be before it, you need that comma. All right, let's keep going. You ready? Complete the sentence with the correct relative pronoun. We did this, right? Maria Ann Smith is the person for... Whom the Granny Smith apple 
is named or who, the person for who the Granny Smith apple. Does Bobby Young know the right answer? Go, Bobby. Who? Whom, that is correct. Whom. Marianne Smith is the person for whom. Mr. T, I was going to say, if he gets a start, he gets a Laker loop. He gets a Laker loop. That's for sure it. Most, it says, complete the sentence with the word that is the most precise. Precise. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Mesmeretto. Most Americans prefer apple pie over any other kind. Yes. Prefer. Yeah, prefer. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Week 25, DLR in the books. Tadero out.